Hello students, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to study about the blood vessels and what are the walls which make the blood vessels. See, there are major five blood vessels are there. First is artery, you can see here in the diagram, which will divide to form arterioles. Arterioles will divide to form capillaries and capillaries will unite to form venules and venule will unite to form one large vein. So both artery and vein, okay? Artery and vein, that is important. Each artery and vein, they are consisting of three layers. We are not saying that capillary will be there. Please focus, I'm not saying capillary, I'm saying artery and vein. So artery, arterioles, venules and vein. Only these things, okay? Artery, arterioles, venules and veins, we are not including capillaries. They are consist of three layers. First of all, innermost is tunica intima. And tunica intima, name is telling in, innermost, it is made up of squamous epithelium. And it is not known as epithelium, we will say endothelium. Okay, it is made up of squamous because it's inside now. So we will say endothelium. And you know very well squamous, why? Because the cell has to be flat. Reason is diffusion has to occur from here. They are the one which are in direct contact with the blood. Then second layer is tunica media. It is name is telling it is a middle layer. And it is the one which is having lot of muscles, smooth muscles, as well as elastic fiber is present. Then tunica externa. This is the one which is the outermost layer and it consists of fibrous connective tissue, especially which fibrous connective tissue? Collagen fiber. Clear, Vita? And collagen fiber is the one which gives strength to the blood vessels. Elastic fiber is the one which is actually helping in recoiling the blood vessels when the ventricle is going for relaxation. So you understand that only three types of layers are present. Intima, squamous endothelium, media, smooth muscles and elastic fiber, externa, connective tissues, especially which one? Collagen fiber. Now, if you see the diagram, understand carefully. Okay, better understand it. This is externa with connective tissue which is present both in the artery and vein. If you see second is your smooth muscles. I'm using just color difference. Media smooth muscles. You can see smooth muscles is present here. It is present here also in the artery and vein. Then third one innermost is endothelium. Endothelium which is present in both artery and vein. But focus now carefully. In the artery, if you see smooth muscles, see my cursor, smooth muscles is so much thick. And in the vein, smooth muscle is not thick. It means arteries are having more smooth muscles. Media is more as compared to the veins. Because artery has to bear the pressure when the heart is pumping the blood. Heart is pumping the blood into the artery. So blood is pumped with high pressures. That is why they are having smooth muscles. Too much is there so as to bear the pressure. And as a result, if you see in the diagram very carefully, you will find lumen is narrow. And here, if you check, lumen is very wide. Check in the vein, the lumen is wide. And in the artery, lumen is narrow. Second, if you see the difference very carefully, you will find he in the vein, valves are present. You can see this is valve. I'll use the green color. Check, this is valve, flap like structure, which prevents the back flow. They are generally meant only for unidirectional flow of the blood. So difference between the artery and vein is only two differences you can focus. One is smooth muscles are more in number here, means more quantity and here it is less quantity. Then second you can say lumen is narrow. And here you, you will see lumen is white. Third, you can focus. Ki here, valves are absent. Valves are absent. But here, valves are present. Clear? Now, last, which is the smallest blood vessel? Which is the smallest blood vessel is your capillary. And capillary, if you see, it is made up of only one layer that is endothelium. You can see the cursor very carefully. 
focus the board carefully ki endothelium clear beta endothelium is the one which is present which is made up of squamous epithelium means squamous cells flat squamous cells endothelium which are resting on the basement membrane the capillary is the only blood vessel which is having only one layer that is tunica intima only squamous endothelium artery arterioles venules vein will have all three layers though composition might be different right now we have seen in the diagram artery tunica media is more but in the vein tunica media is less the composition can be different but artery and vein will have all three layers in common capillary will have only one layer that is your endothelium so i hope so in this video this is the paragraph of your ncrt double circulation one paragraph is there which is on page 286 okay check i just explain that one paragraph i'll just show you just see beta i explain you this paragraph clear i explain tunica intima tunica media and tunica externa these three layers i explained you and obviously it is given here if you see tunica media is thin in veins i focused it also and second i tried to cover this diagram also i'll show you this diagram i covered it if you see in the artery check in the artery check smooth muscles is so much is there as a result lumen is less but in the vein if you focus smooth muscle is thin as a result lumen is wide and if you see capillary capillary is having only endothelium flat squamous endothelium and it is the one where the exchange of the material as well means nutrients and gases as well as waste will take place between the cell and the blood this is the site where the exchange of the material will occur so i hope so in this video blood vessels three types of blood vessels main are clear to you artery branching to form arterioles capillaries unite to form venules and vein main three are artery capillary and vein clear thanks for watching